So scientific names have some rules around how you write them out. And I have some examples here that I'll go through all using oaks as an example. So Quercus lobata is a species and sometimes you'll find a initial or a name after the scientific name. That's just the person who gets credit for the name. So the way you would write this is the genus is always capitalized, but the specific epithet is always lowercase. And if you're typing this out, you want to italicize this name. But if you're writing it out by hand like I am, you underline it. Suppose you don't know what species it is. You can write out the genus, same thing, capitalize the first letter and underline or italicize the genus and write SP, but don't put that in italics or underline. If you have something that's a subcategory of the species, either a variety, a subspecies, or a form, you write it out like this. You write the species name, then you write var, ssp, or f, followed by a dot, and then you write the name of that variety, subspecies, or form. You italicize all of it, except for the designation of var, of variety, subspecies, or form have a cultivar, you'll have the species name italicized or underlined, and then you put the cultivar name in single quotations. If you don't know what cultivar it is, then you can just write CV, both of them capital letters. And lastly, if you have a hybrid, you'll have the genus and X not italicized or underlined, and the specific epithet. There are some crosses that happen between genera, so sometimes you'll see an X in the front. There are supposedly trademarked names, and this is referenced in the study guide, but trademarks are basically used for marketing, and there's a lot of confusion and discrepancies with them. Sometimes they're applied over existing cultivar names, so um, if you see a trademark name, just know that it's for marketing purposes. A lot of people are confused as to how to pronounce these names, and same here. A lot of the words are based in Latin, but not all of them. So this textbook has a list of rules um, from the Jepson manual, and I think they're really useful. So number one, divide the word into syllables and assume that each vowel is its own syllable. Then you pronounce every syllable. So Katoni Aster not cotton easter um, listen to what other people say and and say it however sounds best to you attempt to accent all syllables equally develop your own standards for pronouncing some of these common endings i've heard this ace this is an ending for family um, i've heard it pronounced ace or aca so aceracea aceracee um, if you find a name in the scientific name, pronounce the name. Don't break it up. So this one would be Jonesy, not Jonesi. Um, and this last one is key. When someone presumes to correct your pronunciation, a knowing smile is an appropriate response. If someone's really insistent that their way is correct or they're really arrogant about it, they're probably wrong. Um, just speak confidently, clearly, and if someone knows that name, they're going to be able to figure it out. And that's the most important part.